Our state is in a budget crisis like we have not seen since the Great Depression. When I got here, this is what we were facing. It started in September 2015 when coal, oil, and gas industries nationwide experienced an unprecedented drop in energy prices. Severance and everything kept running away from us. It looked like things could even be more dire. We're just finding out the state's bond rating has actually been downgraded. It's another financial black eye for the state of West Virginia. Certainly, This started with the governor saying in January of 17, I have a vision. I put in a revenue es estimate of $129 million. And everybody stood back saying, no, 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 it'll never happen, it'll never happen. It is unbelievable the six-year plan that you are able to see today that has all black numbers. And us West Virginians need to catch that same optimism that the governor has because we are being held up as an example to other states, states like New Jersey and Illinois, of what a state should be doing. West Virginia is making history. Governor Jim Justice says it ended the fiscal year with a budget surplus of more than $28 million. And we need to be really proud, all of us, every last one of us, of what this state has accomplished. Things have gotten consistently better since October of 17, month in, month out, every month. The numbers just keep getting better and better. But I'm convinced that the second half of the governor's term is going to be even better than the first half because the train has left the station as far as I'm concerned.